Managing diabetes involves more than monitoring blood sugar levels. It's about making informed choices about every aspect of your diet. When you think of red foods, your mind might immediately go to vibrant tomatoes or sweet strawberries. But not all red foods offer the same benefits, particularly for those with diabetes. In the landscape of nutrition where color often equals health, we're going to look at the top five red foods that might not be as beneficial for diabetes management as one might think. And don't worry, we've got quite the surprise waiting for you at the end of our list. Before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. The color red in foods often signals the presence of antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, which are excellent for health. However, some red foods can also be high in sugars or compounds that could potentially affect blood sugar management and diabetes. Let's dive in and discover which red foods to approach with caution. To start, let's talk about one of the most beloved fruits out there, watermelon. This juicy, sweet summer staple is packed with hydration and nutrients like vitamin A and vitamin C. However, it has a high glycemic index, GI, which means it can cause blood sugar levels to rise quickly. A study published in the International Journal of Obesity showed that high GI diets are linked to increased risk of type 2 diabetes. While watermelon isn't entirely off the table for those with diabetes, it should be consumed in moderation, and it's crucial to balance it with lower GI foods throughout the day. Next up are red velvet cupcakes. While they might be a tempting treat, they're a mix of high sugar, refined flour, and fats, which can quickly raise blood sugar levels. These cupcakes often come with a hefty serving of sugary frosting too. According to research in the Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism, diets high in saturated fats and refined sugars can worsen insulin sensitivity. If you have a sweet tooth, consider reaching for desserts that are lower in sugar and made with whole grain flour. Or better yet, satisfy your craving with a piece of whole fruit. Another red food that often causes confusion is ketchup. While tomatoes are at their base, commercial ketchup is typically loaded with added sugars or high fructose corn syrup. It's this high sugar content that can be problematic for blood sugar control. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition highlighted the link between fructose consumption and obesity, which can exacerbate diabetes complications. When looking for condiments, opt for a low sugar or sugar-free version of ketchup, or better yet, Try making your own at home with fresh tomatoes and minimal added sugar. Moving on, let's discuss canned cranberry sauce. Cranberries themselves are a superfood, rich in vitamins and antioxidants. However, the canned variety is often packed with added sugars to counteract the natural tartness of the berries. This can lead to a high-calorie condiment with a high glycemic load. The British Medical Journal has published studies indicating that high intake of sugar-sweetened foods and drinks is a significant risk factor for the development of type 2 diabetes. If cranberries are your thing, consider making a fresh cranberry relish or sauce with a controlled amount of sugar or alternative sweeteners that have a lower impact on blood sugar levels. Now, for the grand finale, the number one red food to be mindful of is sweetened red fruit punch. These beverages are often a blend of water, high fructose corn syrup, and very little actual fruit juice. They're not only high in calories but can cause a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. Research in the Journal of Nutrition has shown that the consumption of sugary drinks is associated with an increased risk of metabolic syndrome and diabetes. For a refreshing beverage, infused water with slices of real fruit or unsweetened herbal teas are much healthier options. While there is no single best food for diabetics, red foods that are low in carbohydrates and rich in fiber, vitamins, and minerals can be a good choice. Here are some red foods that may be beneficial for people with diabetes. Red bell peppers. Red bell peppers are not only low in carbohydrates, but also rich in fiber, which can help regulate blood sugar levels. They are an excellent source of vitamins A and C, providing essential antioxidants that support overall health. Considerations. While they are generally a healthy choice, portion control is crucial, especially for individuals who need to manage carbohydrate intake. Including them in a balanced diet is key. Tomatoes. Tomatoes contain lycopene, an antioxidant associated with various health benefits, including heart health. They are also a good source of vitamins and minerals. Opt for fresh tomatoes or choose canned options without added sugars. Considerations. 
Be mindful of portion sizes and opt for fresh or minimally processed tomatoes to avoid added sugars commonly found in some tomato products. Strawberries. Strawberries are low in carbohydrates and high in fiber, making them a diabetes-friendly fruit. They also provide vitamin C and other antioxidants, contributing to immune system support. Considerations. Moderation is key, as even low-carb fruits can impact blood sugar levels. Consider pairing strawberries with a protein source for a balanced snack. Cherries. Cherries offer a sweet flavor without a high glycemic index. They contain antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds, potentially offering additional health benefits. Considerations. While cherries can be included, it's important to be mindful of portion sizes due to their natural sugar content. Choose fresh, frozen, or canned cherries without added sugars. Raspberries. Raspberries are rich in fiber, low in carbohydrates, and packed with vitamins and antioxidants. The fiber content helps slow down the absorption of sugars, aiding in blood sugar management. Considerations. Include raspberries in a balanced diet, and be cautious with added sweeteners if consuming them in processed forms. Beets. Beets are a root vegetable that provides essential nutrients like folate, potassium, and fiber. They are relatively low in carbohydrates, making them a good option for those with diabetes. Considerations. Monitor portion sizes and be mindful of the method of preparation. Roasting or boiling beets is preferable to avoid added sugars and maintain their nutritional value. Radishes. Radishes are low in calories and carbohydrates, providing a crunchy and refreshing addition to salads or snacks. They also contain small amounts of fiber and essential nutrients. Considerations. Incorporate radishes as part of a diverse, nutrient-rich diet. They can add flavor and texture without significantly impacting blood sugar levels. In wrapping up this colorful guide, it's clear that while red foods can be a nutritious part of a diet, not all are created equal, especially in the context of diabetes. It's important to look beyond the vibrant hue and consider the sugar content, preparation method, and overall nutritional value of the food. Managing diabetes effectively means being mindful of these factors and choosing foods that support rather than challenge your blood sugar control. As with any dietary changes, especially when managing a health condition like diabetes, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider or a registered dietitian. They can help tailor your dietary choices to your specific needs, ensuring that you're not only enjoying your food, but also nourishing your body in the best way possible. Remember, diabetes management is a personal journey, and what works for one person may not work for another. Keep an eye on your blood sugar responses, maintain a balanced diet, and don't forget to sprinkle your meals with a variety of colors. Just be savvy about which shades you put on your plate.